Welcome back to Self Built. Today we're going to be talking about the hamstring curl, but I'm going to be showing you some different tweaks and pieces of equipment you can use to get more range of motion, deeper stretch, and make it feel a lot better than just the typical method. I've tried a couple different pieces of equipment that I'll go over and demo for you. So let's hop into it. The low cable hamstring curl is by far one of the biggest bread and butter hamstring builders you can do when you're at a home gym. It's also fun to do when you're at a commercial gym too when everyone's doing leg day. Oh wait, that never happens. Well, when you're at home, you don't have all that equipment. So with this, it really helps isolate your hams and get a crazy good workout. I've been doing it for years and it's definitely one of my favorites. One tip is to scoot forward just a little bit so the weight is already under load, so that way you're getting constant tension. This is just the normal way of doing it. You can see that my range of motion is limited because my toes do hit. Now you can straighten it, but it still does limit a little bit, so you're not able to get a full stretch. I'll be demoing each piece of equipment and tell you my thoughts on them. The goal is, is I'm just gonna be raising my knees off the ground a little bit so that way I can stretch my legs a little bit more and get some more range of motion. If you've got a home gym, I am not doubting that you have a piece of wood, two by four, that you can use. I'm just gonna place it on the lower end of my quads, not on the kneecap itself, cause that is not comfortable to have weight bearing on your bone. So you'll get your spot, get into position. And my legs are much straighter than they used to be. So this is definitely an upgrade of just doing the floor. Next is my adjustable slant board that I made. Some of you may have slant boards or some sort of wedges or something. This thing's cool because you can adjust all the different heights, but this height is perfect for what I'm doing. The pros and cons on this one is you do get more of a stretch. The con is it's not a full stretch to where you can have your legs fully straightened out, but for what you have, it's great. This one, my legs are already completely straight. And I can feel that. When you have your legs up higher, make sure to keep your upper body down low. You don't want to be teeter-tottering. You still want to keep maximum range of motion. The only con of this one is just the way that I built the slant board. It's just getting off. You just have to be a little more careful because there's wood right here. But height is perfect and it's very comfortable on the legs. And not everyone's going to have a slant board. This is something I think most if not everyone with a home gym or someone that just goes to the gym in general will have access to a roller pad. This one's kind of a combination of the two. You get the height and you get in and out of it very easily. I'll put it a little bit higher on the quads than normal, but since it rolls, then I can get into position. And we're ready to go. My knees are bent. My knees are completely straightened. Full range of motion. Keep the upper body down so you're getting full stretch and you're not using any sort of momentum. I like that once you're done, you can just roll off. So that is the lineup of what we have for boosting your low cable hamstrings. And my personal favorite is the foam roller because it's easy to get into, gives you a full height where you can completely stretch out your legs. Hopefully this helps you guys out because training legs at home can be sort of a challenge and I don't want you guys to miss out on the hamstring curls because it is one of the best ones. You're able to do both legs at the same time being on the floor forces you, you can't be swinging or anything like that. It's a very effective exercise that you can do. If for some reason laying all the way down doesn't feel comfortable for you, if you want to be more propped up, you can do that as long as your feet are still in the air and not touching the ground. But it is a lot harder to stay put when this thing does try to roll. So if you want the easiest method, just keep your chest down. And that brings this video to a close. I hope that you did enjoy and that it was helpful and it helps you get some more gains, have some more fun in the gym and gives enough variety to keep you pushing hard and enjoying the process. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe with everyone that you know. It goes a long way and helps support me and I appreciate it so much. I thank you for watching and don't forget to tune in next time for more self-build.